We are at the very peaceful, very beautiful Parque El Chico. And today we're going to review four neighborhoods that we have lived in Bogota. Let's begin with the one we're currently in, Cedritos. Cedritos. With each region, we're going to mention a few things like safety, overall uniqueness of the area, and the positives and negatives of each area. Beginning with safety, we're going to rank each place from one to five. One being a place where we wouldn't even go walk to the grocery store. We would just like step out of a building or house or... And get over, get, a, get over a taxi and that's it. <laughs> yes. And we're, we're balancing. <laughs> And five being a place where we feel at ease, at peace. We don't feel like we have to constantly watch over our I surroundings. Can, I can walk, I can take a phone call and walk on the street. And, you can yeah. walk with your earplugs. Yeah, yeah. Which is like no place that I've been in Colombia. <laughs> Salento. Salento. Salento's close. Salento's close. So that puts Cedritos. Uh, where would you say Cedritos falls for you? So Cedritos falls for me at a number four. I would, it's, a, it's the same for me. Like I'm still cautious about my phone being out and stuff, but I still see a lot of other people with their phones out, um, which kind of puts me at ease because I don't see like a lot of people trying to like, cover up their bags or anything like that. Uh, so I've enjoyed Centritos for the safety aspect for sure, versus really the other areas we've been in, in Bogota. Yeah, yeah, I really like Centritos because we can walk around almost like anywhere we need to, like, grocery store, the gym, my parents' house, and we feel comfortable. Like yes. We don't feel like we need to fear. <laughs> even, even at night, even after 6 p.m., and we usually try not to walk around at night, uh, and the sun is always setting at about 6. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but in Cedritos, I feel pretty comfortable between 6 p.m. and 9, 9 p.m. But later than 9 p.m., it gets a little like uh, there's not a lot of people out. So yeah, it gets a little deserted. So but we're usually in bed by that point in time, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> watching Netflix or something. <laughs> Overall uniqueness is the fact that Cedritos makes up this whole street called Calle 140, uh, which goes from Avenida 19 to Avenida 7 or Septima. Septima. And that whole street is full of shops, restaurants, uh, anything you could think of, just different Grocery gyms. Stores, yeah. gyms, and so it beds. Br it brings a ton of people uh, to that area, so it's constantly busy, which makes it safe because there's people that are constantly moving in and out of that area, uh, but also very approachable because it's like you can find everything you need um, in that area, and it, it's great. I've, I've loved it for that. Yeah, and although it's still pretty busy during the day, it is very quiet. We don't hear a lot of honking, a lot of motorcycles just like speeding up. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not. It's like it's still congested, but it, people seem a little bit more reserved up in the northern part of Bogota versus other areas of Bogota that we've sp spent a lot of time in. Yeah, and also the street where we live in, it's a cul-de-sac, mm -hmm. and it's very quiet at night. We don't hear anything unless the neighbor is having a party. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Positives of Cedritos, the fact that there are a bunch of old people. Oh, there's that. There's, it's not just like that they're area. old. It's that they're they look affluent. They look like they're well dressed. They're really at ease. Um, there's a duck, goose, a goose. It's a goose. It's a whole bunch of goose. Just complaining right now. <laughs> he wants more about food. Food. <laughs> Show him. <laughs> People stop feeding him. <laughs> they stopped feeding him and now he's all pissed off. <laughs> I 
Okay, back to this. So, so they leaked those positives. There's a bunch of old people that seem affluent. So, like, you know that these people are probably well retired. And when you go to the little mall they have there, Palatino, you just see, like, tons of older Yes, they always go there people. to eat lunch. <laughs> yeah, walk around. And it just kind of makes you feel comfortable because it's not like um, nobody seems, like, desperate. I hate to say yeah. that. And there's some parts of Bogota where people, there's a younger population. They seem very desperate. They're really, like, the hustle and grind. Um, it, you just don't have that feel there. So it's a little bit more, like, slow-paced in the northern part of Bogota. In, in that, at least in that place. part. Yeah, of Cedritos. Um, another pro that I have is the fact that there are so many restaurants that we like along the 140. Uh, They're all the within five or ten minute walk. Yeah, woke uh, crepes and waffles. They have one that's on the 10th floor, so you get an amazing view of the city if you go there during the daytime and have yourself a cup of coffee or ice cream or a full-on meal. Um, but I've enjoyed it for that. Yeah. Uh, lots of. There's a Mexican. El Mexican. Home burgers. Home burger. And we have places that we need for our daily life, like Caruja, the grocery yes. store, and Jim, the body tech. Yes, they're literally like the Caruja. We walk outside, walk across the street. We're right there. We got Caruja. <laughs> with where we're at for now, um, for now, and then uh, the body tech, which is the gym we subscribe to, is really close as well so we 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 are in there almost probably probably about four times a week yeah three or four yeah. times a week um another positive for me is how close we are to my parents it's yes. a 10 minute walk i have to say that's the number one reason why we're in this area is because we want to go see the family more often um so we go and see them probably three or four times a week yeah we just go and show up after dinner or yeah. Sometimes for lunch or just any time. Whenever we lose power in the house and we need that happened this week. Internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the negatives of Cedritos, you go. <laughs> it's far from everything. <laughs> so it is on one forty street and it's far from the airport. Yes. Which is on Calle twenty six. It takes like an hour to get there if there's traffic. <laughs> if, literally almost two hours. Yes. <laughs> um it's far from our hiking spots. Um, like Quebra Monserrate, Quebrada La Vieja, Santa Ana La Guadora. It's not that far from Santa Ana La Guadora, but it's north of it. Yes. We used to think uh, Aguadora Santa Ana was much further <laughs> north, like super far north, and now we are further north than that. Um, so getting to Quebrada La Vieja takes like an hour, Maserate an hour 15 or hour oh, 30 geez, in the yes. morning. Versus before when we were in Ajuelos, it'd only take about 20, 30 20, minutes in 30 the mor minutes. morning and we would just go up Manzarate and then we'd go back home and before, like all before the workday started, all before 9 a.m., we'd basically go run up this mountain, Manzarate, and but that's not as easy to do anymore because it takes like, it's basically two hours traveling and then it takes us usually about an hour to go up and enjoy, enjoy the moment. Yeah, but that's my main negative as far from a lot of things that we like. But yeah, that's uh, Cedritos, and we really like this area. I would not suggest going to this area if you're visiting Colombia because it's just so far from all the other attractions. But if you are an expat and you're wanting to live in the Cedritos area, I would say highly consider it because it's really comfortable, it's really safe. Um, you have all your shops and everything that you need. And since you're having a longer term presence in Bogota, getting to those more touristy things isn't as much of a burden on you it, 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 uh, versus like if you were here for a week or two, right? Yes, yes. Um, but if you're here for a couple months, like we are, then it's, it's a great spot to be in. Go, Vita, go, 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 go. Oh my god. First place to like grab yourself. Spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it. Yeah, okay, no, 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 no. I could have dropped the phone. <laughs> it spins good, man. We changed spots and we are now discussing neighborhood number two Santa Barbara in Uzacan. In terms of safety, 
the Santa Barbara area where the park is. What's the name of the park? Usakin. Parque Usakin. Uh, Parque Usakin. I would give that area a 4.5, actually. It feels really safe. If you are a tourist and you're wanting to visit, that is one of the top neighborhoods to go check out. There are tons of tourists, but expats, we- and families walking around. Yep. And that whole park and that whole area is east of Septima, right? Yes. Uh, Avenida Siete, Avenida Seven. Septima. And, <laughs> and we were on the west side of that where we were actually staying. And given that area, it kind of felt a little scarce, not as like busy. Um, I would actually give it a 3.5. So just going across the street into that area, I would say felt less safe in terms of safety. I don't know. How you feel about those rankings that I just gave, but yeah, I was gonna give the area where we stayed. We were actually closer to 15, to Calle 15, Carrera 15. Yes, <laughs> and I was gonna give it a 3.5 just for the fact that I didn't see as many people walking around. Yeah, it was like you said, it was more scarce, very very residential. Although there were a couple of parks close to our complex, mm-hmm. and you could see people walking their dogs, and they seemed pretty at ease. I still didn't feel the same ease yeah. when there are more people around. I would say in the morning, it felt really safe to go walk around because there were just people walking their dogs or exercising by themselves, particularly in the morning. Um, but that was usually the six, seven, the six or seven o'clock hours, right? Uh, but the other times of the day, it, there, were, there weren't just that, that many people out. Yeah. Overall uniqueness of this area is? I think that it's really close to a place like Parque Usaquén in Santa Barbara Mall that has that really cool market on weekends where you see all kinds of vendors mm-hmm. and people just performing, selling their stuff. Um, I think that's what's cool, but other than that, it was pretty yeah. residential, pretty normal. It's pretty residential, pretty normal, but I would say that it, it, it kind of has like a small town vibe, but within Bogota. Because if you go to other small towns, there's always a park and it's a little bit more cute and a little bit more festive in a way, um, specifically in small towns, right? Uh, and this particular park doesn't have like a lot of homeless um, or a lot of grunge going on. So it's really approachable, a really approachable area of Bogota that brings in that small town vibeness in the hugeness of what Bogota is. Um, that's that's what I find unique about the area. So to me, this is the number one spot. If you're not looking to be in a party area and you want to visit Bogota, like I would say it's the number one spot to check out. Yeah, definitely. Because there are tons of restaurants and very unique restaurants yeah. too, with delicious food, delicious and unique concepts. So it's yeah, a that, great spot to check out. That just brings us into the pros, the positives. Yes. So the positives are, yes, <laughs> really good restaurants, excellent restaurants uh, to go check out. Of- Old price points like price points and variety mm-hmm. um which is really nice uh, and canas canasto 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 uh, is one if you're in that area that's that's a restaurant you got to check out they have amazing donuts <laughs> uh, but <laughs> everything are, on the menu they is are really healthy good. donuts yeah. <laughs> gluten-free what is a healthy donut <laughs> uh, we have the switch spots because there are people there are too many people over in that direction. Teenagers flirting. Yeah. Okay, more more positives. <laughs> more more positives. positives about uh, the Santa, Santa Ana, Barbara Santa Barbara area. There is a hike, Aguadora Santa Ana, that is right there. You can just walk to it and start yes. the hike. Um, it's not my favorite hike out of the hikes that are offered on the eastern hills, but it's literally right like right there, and it's still beautiful. It's awesome. It's a good hike. Yeah, that good. that is a major pro for that place. Yes. Uh, we've gone on that trail maybe five times at this point in time, I think so. It's been more than that. Yeah, it's been quite a few times we've gone on that one. Um, but that is a major for us, uh, just being in that area. I think another pro for me is how close we were to Unicentro. We walked maybe five blocks towards the north and Unicentro yes. Mall was really close yeah. to. Which is a mall. Which is, yeah, it's yeah. a mall. I mean, it has everything that you need in a mall. Yeah. But whenever we feel like walking around and just not feeling like exposing ourselves, that's where we go to yeah. <laughs> a mall. We, we like to go to malls for that particular reason, especially if it's the evening past dark. It's like, yeah. all right, let's go to a mall and just walk around because, like, I just want to, I want to move, I want to walk around, but it's too dark to be outside. And 
most places in Bogota are very safe to be around outside at night. So. <laughs> and this is something we've always done in our relationship. In Dallas, we did it, but when it was too cold outside, we would go to the mall and walk around. We would go to Target and just make laps. We'd be like, all right, let's make, let's do like four laps around Target. <laughs> we, we would go, go every go. single aisle. <laughs> yeah, just walk every single aisle for no. That, that was it. We'd never buy anything. Just walk the. Anyways, this story. <laughs> um, other pros, I would say the there is a mall that's actually in Santa Barbara that it, it used to be a finca and it has like this like look, Santa Barbara mall. Yeah, look of a finca on the outside, but it's like all weird levels and stuff. It, it they have no map and it's really confusing to walk around. Um, we were thinking about filming some of that, but it was like way too confusing. <laughs> and I'm like, I always get mixed up and I'm like, which direction am I walking out of this building? And it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Um, but it's definitely worth checking out. <laughs> kind of dizzy. Uh, but th that's another thing that's a pro is that there are tons of vendors and shops like on the weekends. Um, so if you're a tourist, this is the perfect place to buy a gift. Souvenirs, gifts, yeah. unique stuff. And they also have some during the week. They, they don't have as many vendors during the week, but um, they, they do have them in case you are here during the week and not during the weekend. Our last pro, which is actually a pro for Cedritos as well, is that both Cedritos and Santa Barbara are right by Ciclo Via. Um, in fact, Ciclo Via goes all the way through Septima, uh, which is Avenida Siete, Seven, Avenida uh, Seven. Well, in Cedritos, it actually goes through Ninth, and then at Calle 116, it goes up to Septima. We'll put a map. Yes. And show, because <laughs> I kind of get confused. But that's a major pro because on Sundays we could go walk around the Ciclovia, yeah. enjoy the Bogota sun. And we've walked, yeah, we've walked a couple times between Sadritos and um, Santa Barbara. Calle um, 140 and 116 and it's a good walk. Yeah, it's a good walk. It's a good like 40 minute walk um, and it's pretty, especially when the sun is out. It's nice and warm um, and you know Bogota's not like crazy hot. So it's like, it's cool outside, but it's warm with the sun when the sun is out. So it's nice. It's good. We like it. Negatives of Santa Barbara. I'm personally... We, yeah, we're, we're thinking about negatives, but we can only come up with one. Yeah, the same as Cedritos. It's kind of far from all the other activities like the museums, Manzarate, La Candelaria, because it's at, what, Kai J 116? 116. Mm -hmm. And it, just because of the farness, it makes it harder to go enjoy those things as readily or as easily. <laughs> but it's a little closer than Cedritos. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is, but it still feels far from the airport. Yeah. Like you mentioned downtown where there is always something going on. And that is like the only negative we can come up with. Yeah. Like, But it feels safe and approachable. Like the neighborhoods are nice to walk through. Like the streets are cleaner than normal versus other areas of Bogota. So um, I, I give it a thumbs up if you are wanting to visit and or live in that area, it's definitely a, a nice area in Bogota for sure. Yes. The third area we are reviewing is Chabinero near Parque, Parque de los Hippies. Parque de los Hippies. We were near Calle 61. We were on 61 and 9th. And 9th. So Carrera 9th and 61. This area seemed like a good party area, but it was also really grungy. So when it comes to safety, like the daytime felt safe to walk around but at night it did not feel very safe so i give it a solid three personally i was gonna give it a 2.83 3. <laughs> 2.83 okay. 2.83 because it did feel grungy there were lots of homeless lots of people are like drugs yeah. <laughs> and it felt a little bit scary <laughs> to me at least i just didn't feel as, as, as safe yeah um you turn one street and it would be like okay this street doesn't seem like yeah we want to walk <laughs> down it so we're gonna turn around and you're just like really cautious when we were in that area and everyone seemed like not at ease like people were having their backpacks in the front and just like holding on to it yeah it felt and, i felt anxious and you're gonna notice in this part of the video we don't have much to show of it because we were afraid to pull out our phone and actually record <laughs> yes. some, some areas we were afraid to take our phones out of the apartment like we just yeah. didn't we just leave them at the house and then we'd go out and eat or grab, grab groceries without our phone because we just didn't want to run that particular risk 
Um, I'd rather have somebody cash in hand than my phone. Yeah. <laughs> I, so safety, I, I can't say that that part of Champagnetto was really great, but there are other areas that are a little more north, like Quinta Camacho, but that's more at like, you have to go 10 streets north around 70, and the neighborhood starts to get a little bit more like, okay, yeah, this is really approachable uh, and, and nice. Uh, but safety was definitely a concern in that area. Yeah. Overall uniqueness of the Parque Hippies Chapinero area is that it was kind of, um, it was colorful. It was and, colorful <laughs> in, <laughs> in all the sense of a word. Yeah. It was, we were like a block away from um, the gay district. So uh, Teatron, which is like this huge gay club was really close to the apartment. Um, so that made it interesting. Also, there were quite a few universities nearby, mm -hmm. so there were just a lot of young people yeah, young, young walking people. around. I feel like the closer you get to the center of Bogota, like near a Kai J Zero. <laughs> is there a Kai J Zero? Or is it just one? <laughs> They're all numbered. So I don't know if there's a Kai J Zero. Um, anyways, there's more university towards the center, so you start seeing a lot, a lot younger population as you get towards the center. Um, and since I was at around 60, uh, there, there was a university nearby, we saw a lot of young people. So that was unique to see um, every day, especially compared to Cedri Cedritos, where it's like, whoa, there's a lot of old <laughs> Not people. Not a lot of old people. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would say that's a unique, uniqueness. The other uniqueness is the fact that it's so close to Quinta Camacho, which is a really great area for restaurants. Some of the most unique restaurants you will find in Bogota are in that area. Um, and we tend to gravitate toward that area. There's also a really awesome ba bakery we enjoy going to. <laughs> yeah. To get some pan de brownie. <laughs> pan de brownie, yes. Um, I think another unique thing was the view that you get, um, especially the apartment where we were at. We could see the mountains on the east um, every day, and that was pretty nice. Like, yeah. But it also sucked because the street we were by like was a pass-through street, so like five o'clock in the morning you start hearing the bus is so loud and we were sleeping with earplugs and I could just hear them and I'm like well I'm waking up because I can't sleep with these buses. There was also really close to like a hub for rapids so we heard all the freaking rapids which like they which, were like honk so much or like the bikes were like they have the little motor and they are so loud. Yeah so rapids are the service where they provide food delivery services by motorcycle um, and or so bike. If, or bike with like, they actually put on a little motor on the bike and those, those little motors are so freaking loud. Um, and so you just heard nonstop just buses and honking. honking up until about, I don't know, 10 or 11 at night, it would start, finally die down. But, but it started at 5 a.m. 5 a.m., yeah. The so only day that it was quiet, it was Sundays. Sunday. Ciclo <laughs> Positives. The positives. You've mentioned it quite a few times. It's close, really close to Quinta Camacho. You mm -hmm. could walk to it, um, which has a lot of restaurants and just a nice area to walk around. The bakery yeah. um, that we highly recommend because yes. <laughs> it's delicious. Yes. And then uh, it's also close to Quebrada La Vieja Alta de la Cruz, which is one of our favorite hikes. Actually, Quebrada La Vieja has the Virgin, the Paramo, and the um, Alta de la Cruz. We've only done the Virgin uh, hike and Alta, Alta de, la, de, la Cruz. de la Cruz because every time we go to do the Paramo, they're like, oh, it's too much rain. We're not letting people go up. And Close. it's like, you can do one of the others. <laughs> like, okay, fine. Um, so we still haven't gotten, gotten to do the Paramo at this point in time. It's been open for months and we still haven't been able to do it. Uh, but maybe in the dry season, it will dry up and we'll be, actually be able to do it, which I'm looking forward to. But that to me was like a big positive of that area was like, you know, you get in a taxi and it'd be five, 10 minutes um, up the hill basically. And you'd get out and do this really amazing hike. hike. Yeah, pretty amazing. Another positive I think is also the party area, how close it was to the party area. We're not party people. So like we didn't get to enjoy that at all or even explore it. Um, but if you really like the party, yes. like that's a great area to stay too. Yeah. I feel like people who enjoy the party are more willing to sacrifice, like maybe the terms of safety. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sleep. <laughs> and, and sleep. Whereas like, I'm like, man, I like sleep, man. Like Cedritos and Santa Barbara were way more quiet. Wait, they were so quiet. Um, compared to that area of Champinero. And I, I could imagine just as you get closer to down, downtown, that it would just be more so that way because there's just more like partiness going on. Okay. Negatives. 
I was, How loud it was. Just crazy loud, man. <laughs> just a lot loud. of honking, lots of buses, lots of motorcycles. It was just... And then on top of that, it didn't feel safe when we would go mm-hmm. outside. It just didn't feel as safe. So we'd kind of like run our errands really quickly, um, not spend a lot of time um, outside and, and unless we were like getting in a taxi and getting away from that particular area. Uh, than than we would, such as Quinta Camacho or Zona T, T. which is a little bit more north um, around, what, 80? 80? 85. Okay, 85, yeah. Um, but I would suggest visiting in this area. You, It feels a little safer you get on the other side of, of, Septima, of Septima, so going east. Yeah, in, in that area. So if you are around Kaije 60, get on the eastern side of Septima and it feels a lot more safer just crossing that street. Yes, yes. Um, for, for sure, but we were not. We were on the other side. Um, and we were there for about two or three months. Yeah. Yeah. And that was that was last like basically January and February, um, earlier in the earlier in the year. So the fourth place where we have spent quite a lot of time in Bogota is Ajuelos La Felicidad in the Fontibon locality. This area is all about the malls, man. <laughs> There's quite a few malls, but it's very, very residential. <laughs> it's very residential. <laughs> and it's really close to the airport, but we'll get to that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's begin with safety. What would you rank it? Um, I'm going to say, I, depending on the part of Ajuelos, it would either be a 3 or a 3.5. Uh, when you're close to the malls, very safe. feels very safe. You can take your phone out. If you're inside the mall, obviously, it's you take your phone out. Uh, but as soon as you walk away from the malls, it's kind of like, all right, it starts to slip to like a three and maybe 2.5. <laughs> well, but let me explain that at 2.5, because it was really empty. Like there was just nothing like you would not see people. Which is the perfect recipe for getting robbed. Yes, which is what happened to me. Mm-hmm. I was when walking got by myself <laughs> on a street where there was nobody else and a guy came and robbed me. Um, but I would actually rank it at 3.5, sometimes a 4, like some areas a 4. Mm-hmm. Um, because like you said, close to the malls, the area right immediately around the malls were pretty safe. Like there were tons of security, mm-hmm. people walking to the malls, trying to find parking. Mm-hmm. Um, it was, it felt pretty safe. Um, and then, like you mentioned, you would get inside the neighborhood and it would get super, super duper empty. And I would give it a 3.5 because it doesn't feel unsafe. It's just that. There's more opportunity to be robbed because yes, it's so empty. It's so empty. Like in some places. There's just no people around. Well, yeah. Overall uniqueness of uh, Joelos area is the fact that there are so many freaking malls. You have a Joelos, <laughs> you have Multi Plaza. El Eden. El Eden. And there's other ones that are close by as well, like Claro. Uh, I'm, Plaza Claro. Plaza Claro, yeah. And I, I kind of like that because I really like Multi Plaza. It's a very large mall. It was large. And if you, you're restless like me, and you have a lot of energy to burn, like in the evening hours, it's like, all right, let's go to the mall and just walk around in circles, <laughs> because um, it, it was there, and I like that for that. It was a nice size mall. You could actually get a decent walk in and feel like, all right, I'm tired of walking around. <laughs> we have a very detailed video about all of those malls in that area. Go check it out. Yes, <laughs> it's kind of fun, um, but yeah, I think that's the overall uniqueness. Lots of malls, lots of shopping around. Very, very family friendly. Yeah, um, and this is not an area people go to to visit Bogota. Mm-hmm. So no, I mean, there's nothing that you that's don't not, see. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing really touristy. It's like it's a residential area, so you won't see very many. Um, you won't see very many gringos, people <laughs> like me, white people. Um, <laughs> It's just all Colombian almost, you know, like 99.9. We got to hurry up and say what we got to say because uh, the park is going to close at five. Yeah, and it's uh, (laughs) 452. So let's talk about the positives. (laughs) The positives, um, I mean, already the malls, right? The fact that the malls have a a lot of fun activities, like Eden has a cyber arena, which is like this This adult sized playground. Yeah, it's it's called Ninja something. uh, It's like the American Ninja thing. It's a cyber arena. It's just, yeah. You, you you hit these lights, but you run around. And there's all these obstacles, and you got to hit these lights and stuff. And it, like you I feel like points. a kid, yeah. and you have like 20 minutes to get as many points as possible. And it's like it, it feels like a real workout if you really go at it, which which we've done a couple times. 
Um, and then they have like a zip line inside the mall. Like it's just ridiculous. And they have bowling. Um, they have movie theaters. Uh, I love the fact that like every single mall has like a grocery store. Yeah, and, lots of indoor activities. Yeah, lots. Yeah, they had a um, a life size Monopoly one time inside Multi Plaza. It was it was just great. I loved it. It was awesome. Another major pro is it is 15 minutes away from the airport. Yes. <laughs> so, so if you're wanting to, if you're just having like a short layover in in uh, Bogota, like that's a, and you still have time to burn, it's still a good place to go because it's like you can go check out the mall, Multi Plaza. I highly recommend. They have a really awesome like balcony. Uh, where the food court is and you can kind of see like the eastern hills like just like clearly um, if it's obviously a clear day and it's beautiful um, I, I like going up there and just having a cup of coffee and just staring at the mountains negatives negatives so that area it's right by a major um, highway highway <laughs> major road where a lot of Boy, trucks Jakar, right? Um, but Boyacá is Calle 13. A lot of trucks come in, and so there is a lot of smog, there is a lot of dirt. It's very, very noisy and very, very um, dirty in terms of like the air feels. Yeah, the air, the hard air you can breathe. feel it. Like it, December's the worst. December's the worst in terms of like uh, the smog. And I'm like, man, it smells like gasoline and arepa out here. That's all it smells <laughs> yeah. like. Yes. Other negatives, um, I would just say that, like, you know, it, it doesn't feel as safe as other parts of Bogota. Like, it, it is my general opinion when you get to about Calle 70 and you stay east of Avenida 19 and go north. Um, so that, that area, which is really the northern part of Champinero and Uza, Uza Kin, um, those neighborhoods are really nice. I would argue they are probably the nicest neighborhoods in all of Bogota. Very, very nice. Which yeah, is very basically sweet. where we're at. Yes. Um, this is where we decided to come and film. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and thankfully, when his immediate family has moved into that area, so of course we will be probably spending a lot of time here in the near future. Um, and so that makes me feel a little more comfortable as an American who's used to a lot of safety. <laughs> um, another negative is like there really is no touristy things around like. Yeah. You have to get on a bus and taxi or an Uber to get to places and do these activities. Unless you love Cyber Arena. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really fun. It's yeah. really fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. And the other negative for you? Mm, no, no, other than you getting robbed? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't get robbed anything important. It was just a little bit traumatic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not cool. It's not cool. Uh, but that's it. Those are the four places that we have been in. Uh, Colombia that we've actually lived in and so uh, in, in Bogota that in Bogota. we have spent at least a Sorry, month or more Yes, yeah, you said good. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we've I, we've been in each one of those locations a month or more um, so the, we, we have strong opinions about them just from our experience of living going to the grocery store living normal life going to the gym things like that uh, working, you know uh, going and seeing the family um, so if you found value in this, please comment below and let us know what you thought. Uh, if you stayed in any one of these areas, let us know your thoughts as well down there. Um, but yeah, I hope uh, this encourages you to either visit if you're planning to visit. And just or move, next... move to Colombia. Yeah, Bogota. Just, just, just move here. It's, it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> All right. Peace out, y'all. Bye.